Hi, it's Russ from Protos Expert, and I know that a lot of you appreciated the last expand video that I did and so I'm coming back to talk about the loop section within expand and I want to suggest to you that if you are a, a big fan of looping and creating great grooves then expand is a great place to start now one of my go-to's is a product called stylus and stylus enables you to put lots of loops together it's from spectrosonics and it's a go-to for many producers but some of you just don't want to have that kind of money to be able to do something so I'm going to show you some similar stuff you can do within expand now one thing that most people perhaps don't don't appreciate about expand and, and looping is that there's this whole loop section here called uh, 26 loops uh, it's got all sorts of stuff in it and how it works is it's actually using the arpeggiator to create those loops so if we just for a second turn it off we go to this loop here I come up here to the beats turn it off and you've got a single note playing. Now what's interesting is just an aside trick that if you like a sound in a loop, I like that clap. And stop the loop at the moment it plays it. Then you get it. And you can use that sound. Of course then the rate affects it. Drum and bass. Uh, all, all sorts of stuff you can go into here now the other thing to remember as well is that down here if you look here it, if you turn loop on you get the straight the beat then you've got the shuffle beat So that's the first thing to know about this. Now the second thing to know as well is you can obviously put more than one together. Put a third one in. Now depending on what loop you open up, it will play different things at different parts of the keyboard. So normally it's on G. Now another thing to be aware of as well is certain loops, let's get back to this urban one for a second, has a key track option and what the key track does, it enables you to change the pitch depending on where you're on the key. If it's off, it doesn't matter where I play on the keyboard, it's not going to change pitch. If I turn it up a bit, I can change the pitch of the boot. Now another thing to remember is well if you've got key track off, put two on. Get some kind of cool flangey stuff going on as well by playing two notes. Now the other thing to remember as well is of course there's EQ and, and cutoff and stuff. Which are all usable. Now I've also got as well is then I've got channel two going where I've got some tune stuff and it's some electric the melodic loops is really cool. Some really groovy stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now the next thing to remember, of course, as well, is the effects built in. So let me show you what happens when I put the effects on the groove first. I'm just going to mute this off for a second and just play the groove. And I've put the hall on now. On that. I'm going to put the delay on as well now. And I'm rerouting the delay back into the hall. Get some pretty cool effects there.
And as you can hear now, it's pretty cool. The other cool, cool thing to remember as well is what you can also do is if you come to the easy section, now this is assigned to MIDI 1. So it's going to, set, and it's going to deal with these three uh, settings here. We can take beats and really get them sort of stuttering. You can also make them suck, and I don't mean because you're crap. I mean you can make them... Pull the cutoff down. You can of course assign that to automation, you've seen me do that before. Add envelope depths into it as well. Now the cutoff's changing how bright it is. Can even tune it. Now if that wasn't enough, and it's already pretty cool I think, Let's get even deeper into this. Now what I'm doing this time is I'm gonna add a, and again, everything I'm showing you today is free with Pro Tools. There's nothing you're gonna to buy to make this happen. Sansamp, Air Flange it, and Filter Gate. What happens when we start adding some more cool stuff in? So, but this time, rather than put it in an insert behind Expand, I'm gonna control how much, I'm gonna kind of do some parallel processing. Basically, I'm gonna have the clean version of Expand, and then by using this as well, I'm gonna sort of feed in some additional dirt and other stuff to really change this sound. So let me play you what we can do now. So I've got PSA 1 switched on. There it is, and that's what that's doing. Doesn't it a lot? Let's give it some more guts. Let's put a flanger in there. Let's add the filter gate in. Let's do that pumper effect. It's the original. Really gutsy. I'm gonna pull back the bass a bit, I think. What that's doing. Really, really nice. And uh, those loops are really, really groovy. You don't say you don't need me, you don't love me, you don't want me anymore. And this is making such a difference to the sound. And all will expand again. Here we go. Is that a filtering down here? So I hope that's inspired you. Don't tell me you can't get grooves without with that because that's a pretty cool bit of gear and all free and all easy to do using Pro Tools. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.